So when Elgar wrote uh, his cello concerto in 1919, people must have been quite shocked at the very beginning of the piece because at that time you would still have expected um, a solo concerto to start with an orchestral introduction. Um, and instead, I feel like the, the the urgency of the expression and the 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 overpowering uh, need and sort of confessional expression of that opening is so strong that the soloist, uh, when he comes on stage, almost doesn't give the orchestra time to introduce the music and instead immediately on sitting down, immediately starts with... <laughs> instruments and they sort of echo the cello introduction and then again the cello is, is on its own <laughs> come in and actually introduce the theme, the theme that then is the first theme of the movement. So normally a composer will try to introduce the material first, which is a little bit formal, but in this case it's so, it comes from such a, a subjective, such a personal point that it's like washes over that, um, this concept, this conceptual uh, composition. And I think that's um, something I have to remind myself of when I play the piece, because of course I've always known it to be that way, but I think to, to, to imagine that this was the first time that it was done that way makes it an even stronger, more striking impact. Uh, another bit uh, that's probably one of the most famous bits is the, after the very opening of the third movement, slow movement, is this melody that kind of is reminiscent of the, the sort of the salon, chausson, uh, music that uh, Elgar himself would have grown up hearing. music is also the the melancholy that he has for a time when it was more when it was appropriate to write this sort of music I think there's this thing in the given that when it was written just after the First World War of it being very torn between the world before and the fear of what the world will now be and this discomfort with the way that the the, the modern day the modernity will will affect his life and society and that's something that he always struggled with and this is really so at the apex of, of that of that uh, that struggle and that um, uh, that dilemma 
And the second movement is a scherzo, kind of like in a symphony normally, the second one would be the scherzo, so it has a symphonic form. I'll just play the very end of it. Thank <laughs> you. 